So let's uh, let's quickly get started then. Uh, so just before we uh, before we uh, start, uh, so just uh, quickly going into uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, so I think Sujit has uh, already talked about me a little bit, but I'm just uh, just for those who don't know me, I am Ravi Prakash. I am the principal architect at Beckin and uh, the co-author of the Beckin protocol specifications. Uh, so yeah, and uh, today I am going to be taking you all through uh, a broad overview of the entire technological aspects of Beckin uh, and its uh, and its ecosystem, and how it can actually help creating right what we call as open commerce networks right and which can actually uh, help accelerate innovation in the field of e-commerce and the field of uh, you know, uh, product engineering etc so uh, to do that i think there is a little bit of a basic understanding uh, which is required and uh, and after we have covered that we will we will basically uh, do a slightly more deeper dive into backend so uh, yeah, let's start. Okay. So let's first talk about open networks in a little bit. And before we talk about open networks, let's first talk about something which is very familiar to us, which is our very own internet. Right? And uh, this is a very critical section because there are a lot of analogies which I will be taking uh, from this uh, concept, right? And uh, and actually using it on the backend protocol uh, you know, specifications. Yeah. So as you can see right, on the icons on the left, right, the internet is nothing but a collection of a lot of standards, technologies, applications, uh, you know, formats, etc., which sort of together what you call as a protocol stack. And uh, one of the most, uh, most common and most uh, popular protocol stacks is the TCP IP protocol stack, right? That's our, our, our entire worldwide web sort of works on that, uh, on that protocol stack. Okay. So anyone who wishing to communicate on the internet, but it must implement this protocol stack or use an existing implementation, you know, on their on their systems, right? But just implementing, and when I say implementing, I mean so you write the code for actually writing, you know, this uh, to implement, you know, to to communicate with uh, one another over the internet, right? But just implementing the stack alone is just not enough, right? One actually requires a plug point somewhere to plug into the internet, correct? Right? And that plug point is provided by the uh, provided to the implementer via what you know as a public digital infrastructure, right? And the digital infrastructure today, what we uh, uh, generally use for connecting to the internet, are actually known as ISPs or Internet Service Providers. Right? We all know that. And anyone wishing to access the internet can only gain access via one of these ISPs. Right? So that that infrastructure, that underlying infrastructure, is very important. That needs to be there for us to communicate with each other. Now, uh, this communicating is not enough. One needs to also be discoverable on the internet, right? So uh, anyone wishing to be uniquely discovered on the internet also needs to obtain some sort of an address, right? When, when it's just the same thing, like when you are going to somebody's place, you need their address, correct? So to actually discover and, uh, and actually reach somebody, you, uh, you actually require the uh, addresses via the ISPs. Okay. Sometimes these addresses are also uh, obtained from cloud service providers, etc. Now that is there. Now, if you want to be uniquely identified on the internet via a human readable name, you actually need to purchase these names, right, via the DNS infrastructure, right. And uh, now, just as I said, you know, uniquely identifiable uh, is just not enough. Again, right. You know, also need if you want to transact, if you want to do anything trustworthy right on the internet you actually need to prove your trustworthiness right and there are ways to prove your trustworthiness on the internet infrastructure right that is done via means of the ssl infrastructure right the uh, so one needs to obtain the ssl certificate from a certificate authority and all of these systems right are sort of neatly you know layered in a neat hourglass right as you can see that there are there are uh, there are like you know open uh, standards which are used to communicate between our device and our Wi-Fi, and then our open standards which are used to communicate between our Wi-Fi and the local gateway, and then and, and the local gateway to the internet, uh, to the DNS infrastructure, and so on and so forth. And 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 that's how communication happens over the internet. Right? We'll not go too deep into how the internet actually functions, but what uh, generally needs to be uh, you know uh, understood from this entire concept is that hey we uh, there is a, a very neatly layered 
infrastructure which is given to us right and or which has been implemented by various parties around this world which allow any two systems on their uh, on uh, in this world to communicate uh, irrespective of the distance right so let's uh, look at something which is also something very familiar to us okay this uh, is also a very simplified model of the email network right email is again an open network uh, so it consists of clients, okay, which are which sort of present the email inside the inbox of the user, and there are servers which translate the email content into a structured packet. But the rules of translation, the format of messaging, is all all written down or all standardized using a common specification called as the SMTP specification. Right? The clients on the other side know the language of SMTP and are able to understand the contents of the email, unless and until both parties. Right, on the on the uh, internet actually know the language which each of the others speaking they will not be able to understand so a common language to understand email was created called as SMTP right now the SMTP does not work alone okay now it also uses the other infrastructure layers like DNS and IPv4 to route the email from the source to the destination right just like a postman right the postman does not need to know the uh, structure of the message inside the letter to deliver it to the correct address. Right? The DNS are, similarly, the DNS infrastructure does not need to know the contents of the email. It just needs to know the address on the cover. Right? So think of the red dots which you see uh, between as like the postal services transporting the letter from, uh, from sent by the top layer to the bottom layer. Right? And this is also an important uh, section because we will be drawing some analogies and inspiration from this when we I mean, actually discuss packet. This is again a slightly zoomed in view of the same model shown earlier. The, it sort of shows two different email applications using a common language, SMTP, to understand each other and using the DNS infrastructure to route the email from seller to uh, the, the sender to the receiver. Right? Now, the identity of the SMTP specification, uh, the identity of the sender and the receiver is also specified in the SMTP specification, which we commonly refer to as the email address. Right? Now, if you notice something very interesting, okay. Uh, you will see that the entities which are actually communicating with each other okay do not actually need to be the same uh, sort of you know business entity right they, they can be two completely different entities okay both speaking the same language okay both of or as specified by a common specification they do not actually need to be on the same cloud they actually exist in two entirely different locations on the internet but are actually able to recognize each other and understand each other because of one common specification okay called the smtp specification okay in conclusion the email is sort of an open network because it's created using open standards and open specifications like smtp and DNS, which anyone in the world can adopt and build and start sending and receiving email messages okay 